Seeing Dress it up for me. There's something in the style for me. Spend a day to get my mind blown. Dress it up and go to Nassau. 200 miles on the dash. Got a roller pound up a gas. Put your lanes in the Grand Rapids. We the one that kept it cool with all these niggas till these niggas start acting. Shoot a nigga like a film. Well, that's why I shoot Youngie Gang. It's me, Grams Youngie. And your girl, Lily Oysterly. Tonight we're gonna be cooking with Lily and Grams. That's <laughs> me. Y'all asked us for this, so we giving it to you. Baby decided she wanted some chicken, some macaroni and cheese, the broccoli is in the freezer, and some baked beans. Is that right, baby? Mm-hmm. Okay, so. And we lit. Hold on, we're gonna put meat in the baked beans, or you just wanna keep it? Uh, I don't feel like doing all that. I need bottom and red meat because we are trying to stay away from red meat. Y'all always I asking. I forgot. Yes. They always asking me, though, like, why I always just fix you chicken. Because that's all I like to eat. That's all we like to eat. It's like chicken. That's all we eat. We barely eat. Or salmon. Salmon. Now. Salmon. Yeah, stuff like that. So. We're gonna try this, and I know I have a planet right here on my nose. Oh, we gotta introduce it. So, welcome to our Young and Gang. It's me, Grams Youngin. It's Lily, and it is dun 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 dun. dun. Uh, Big Bertha. <laughs> <laughs> See, no, her face. Whatever. So it's three of us this tonight that's cooking. Here. Maybe she better not jump in our food. I know that. Oh, Bertha. Whatever. Mm -hmm. So, who's gonna clean this chicken? We're gonna get started. We're just gonna clean the chicken um, so we can get that in the oven. I'm gonna go ahead and preheat the oven to 425. Preheating. And yeah. We already washed our hands, that's why we got the napkins. Yeah. Stuff, so, we don't give anybody no napkins. However, who was that? I don't wanna touch the chicken. Hold on, why you don't wanna touch the chicken? It's wet and so. It's gloves in the closet. Put some gloves on. That's how my sister got it. Ain't no more. Yes, it is. Uh -huh. It is gloves. Uh -huh. I gotta clean the sink out. Uh -huh. You irking. You always wanna do the easy part. How am I doing the easy part? I'm over here scrubbing the sink. That's the easy part. You get the white stuff down and I got to play with chicken thighs and hair, grab hairs off chicken stuff. Yes, y'all. I do have on my underwear. I'm at home. I'm cooking. Y'all family. Y'all hear that noise coming from upstairs, just know it's right. Got go. What's that you drinking? Oh, it's Mirror Off or Juice and Honey. Oh, can you get the salt out the can and clean it? Like in front of you, Lily? Yeah, I just took the chicken up. Really? Why the syrup out? For the baked beans. Oh, okay. I don't got no molasses. Okay. I don't see the salt. I'm pour a whole bunch over here. Um, you you want to use the salt to cleanse your chicken. Slide out any excess juice. <laughs> You're a damn <laughs> lad. <laughs> pour a lot. Really, we need this. It's only no, a little bit left. You got to dump it like this. Uh-uh, I can't cook with you. You're doing it wrong. How you gonna tell me how to clean my chicken? I clean it all the time. Why does it sound like they about to jump up with that salt? That's how you know it's getting clean. I was going along. That's the way it was. Go ahead. Touch it. Hold on. I gotta take a sip for a minute. Mm. Mm. Okay. Dang, I ain't even getting all the knife. Okay, you wanna... You want to clean it and get all the greasy stuff off and make sure what the water is clear. You're what done cleaning it when the water is clear. You want to dig it in. You want to sprinkle it. You want to shake that chicken. You want to shake that chicken. When you get that chicken, you want to shake that chicken. 
I'm washing my hands, so this is all on you. What I gotta do again? <laughs> Pick it up. You want the wings to stay on there? The little tips? I guess. So pick up the chicken. Yep. Look at the chicken. And rub it? Yeah, you feel? Does it feel? How does it feel to you? Really? It feels like I'm rubbing on chicken. You all you're supposed to do is just squibble it around in the water. No, you don't. You squibble it. That's not how you clean chicken. And you rub it down. And you smack them together. And they get clean. And it's clean. It's been in the salt for about two minutes now. No. No, I don't want to. Okay, it's done. No, it's not. Lily, you ain't demonstrating not once how the chicken works. Hold up, because I'm sick of washing my hands over and over. You know my nails came off. Oh, and they just... Ooh, somebody broke this chicken wait leg before he got down got in here. Don't. You want to take the bone out? He's going to stab you. Look. Oh, yeah. That was just pure animal cruelty right there. Somebody broke you. My nail hurt, y'all. Oh, I can't take that out. Mm -hmm. That will come out. Alright. Yes, you come in there. You do your thing, mama. It ain't got shit on here. It ain't got nothing on there. I already cleaned it. No, it's something on here. Oh, my gosh. Give me that, um... That's how I know. What? Uh, uh, I'm done? Yeah, do what you want to do. Oh, I graduated, y'all. I'm so proud of myself. I want to accept this award on behalf of my, my girlfriend, man. My girl lit, man. My girl lit, fam. You know, it's only right that you keep you a lit girlfriend. Get you a Lily. Get you a Lily. Litly. Get you a lit Lily. Ain't that right, baby? That's all right. Because I didn't want to touch it anyway. It was too. Ugh. I bet, Hannah. I'll touch that chicken, but I can't touch this chicken. I'll touch that chicken, but not that chicken. Go entertain our company. Mm -hmm. You got all these damn people in my house. And you don't want to do My body is so freaking sore. This workout has been crazy. And y'all know, we don't have no Allen or nothing fancy like that. So that's why, you know, we just nigga rigging it and we going. Enjoy this day and don't complain. Giving you the best that we got. We ain't gonna create nothing fake just to make y'all respect us. Yes, this is how we cook. This is how we get down. This is how we do it. This is how we do it. Sha la 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 la. Yeah, I'm swinging weave all around the food. <laughs> Sha la 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 la. Okay. So I'm going to be taking some lemon pepper seasoning, some seasoning salt, and Hannah wants some sesame on hers. Usually I add some garlic powder in there too. But I don't feel like it tonight. So you drizzle, drizzle. And I took one of my gloves off because I got to grab the chicken. And you sprinkle it. Turn it on the back.
It may look glamour like Gang, most of you rappers just shit talkers. Gang, I fuck around, she don't live out there. Gang, run up. Gang, hip hop there. Bang, lean my skill. Bang, oh shit, you ain't got a dirty little nigga, you don't know how I feel, feel, feel. I'm on that E, I'm on that X, I'm a fucking bitch out of here, here, here. Bop, hip hop, bop, hip hop, bop, run up. check it in between because you might want to flip it over and then the baked beans need to cook for about 45 minutes as well so let's let them bake voila i guess we could tell them the story time later okay. what you want to talk about no we ain't gotta have a story time what, what you want to talk about y'all we can just talk for the next couple of minutes i know it ain't gonna be for 45 minutes because i ain't got that much breath in me no however we could talk about a little sound sound. Um what? Um relationships? No. It's so overrated by talking about relationships. Oh the damn life. life. Ooh, y'all, this is we could be inspirational, baby. Yeah. Alright, so for anybody that's out here stressing right now, just know stress is temporary. You think that's true, baby? Yeah, that's true. Stress. Pain, all that's temporary. It's all in your head. No. Pain not. lasts as long as you want it to last. That's true. If you think it's going to heal any moment, it's going to heal faster than you know it. But if you feel like it's going to last forever, it's, you're going to make it last forever. Because everything is all, every, pretty much everything that goes on in your life is, it could be eliminated when you try to eliminate that thought. So the more you dwell on something, the more it's going to be relevant to you. But the right. more you want to forget it, the quicker you will get over whatever bump that you may have ran into. And just know that everything that you're feeling right now, and like if you're going through any kind of like hardship, any kind of pain, any kind of heartbreak, or just not knowing where you are in the world, or you know, you're looking at other people and you feel like they're successful, but you don't feel like you are going to get there. Just know that it's all a lesson. So whatever hardship, whatever pain that you're going through right now, you've been put in this situation so you can learn something from it. So make sure you take the best thing out of that hardship and you run with it. Okay, if you see a little bit of positive in there, you need to take that positive and run with it. And that's how you can take responsibility. Yeah. Take responsibility. The quicker you own up to the situation that you're in, I don't say that don't mean blame everything on yourself. Right. But as far as you got to think about when you're in a situation, how do you get here? So the quicker you realize why you got there, be the quicker you get out of that situation because you're gonna know what you don't want to experience again and what situation you don't want to be in again. But for People that always feel like things is repetitive in their life and what goes around comes around. That means there's something that you're attracting that you need to evaluate about yourself so you can get out of that situation and it won't happen again. Right, because you are what you attract. Yes. So, therefore, if you constantly find yourself in the same situation with the same problems, even if it's with a different person or a different type of circumstance, it's what you're attracting, what you're putting out to the world. So you need to step back, evaluate the situation, evaluate yourself, and come back new. You need to rejuvenate, you know, make it new. So everything that we go through in life, you know, we we feel like sometimes the world is coming down on us. We just, we can't get out of it. We're not going to see an end, but it is an end. And the end begins with you. And when you start to believe that whatever you want in this world, whatever you see yourself doing, whatever you saw somebody else have and you wanted it, you can have that too. You just have to train your mind to think that way. And know that shit don't happen overnight. It takes time. It's not going to be like, oh, I want a million dollars tomorrow so you're going to 
dream about it and wish about it and work hard toward it in one day and wake up with a million dollars. It don't work that way. It takes hard work, consistency, dedication. What you focus on will come to life. What you focus on is going to be alive. And that's even in relationships. That's in life, period. Like, if you constantly focus on the negative, you're going to be negative. So just try to focus on positive. I know it's hard coming from a person who is the type of person that drowns in their sorrows and their feelings, okay? So, therefore... Hi, baby. Hey. Hello. Just do something that makes you feel better about yourself. I preach about that all the time. Do something new. Do something fun. Just stay positive. Okay? It's only right. And that's, those are Lee and Grandma facts. <laughs> Lee Grandma facts, y'all. Yes. You gotta, gotta, gotta listen to us. You got to. We, hey, look. Sometimes it's hard to listen to somebody who ain't, who you think ain't got it. Right. Don't judge. If somebody's spitting wisdom, don't judge what they got going on around them. Sometimes it is okay now. If somebody that just got down a whole slut try to tell you how to be faithful in your relationship. Sometimes you just got to ignore that person. But yeah. I'm saying as far as like materialistic things. Like we see a lot of people trying to bash us. Like there be little comments talking about, oh, y'all ain't, y'all need bigger couches, da 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 <laughs> It's material things. Yeah. And if you look at our numbers always talk, y'all. Yeah. Look at our numbers. We did all that by ourselves. Yeah. And all we did was promote positivity. Yeah. So. And even with our house, we moved into this house. We had nothing but our clothes. We right. moved from our parents' house. We didn't have no furniture. We didn't have anything. So it took us time. We worked hard. We bought everything in our house. Everything in our house is paid for. So it's not going to happen overnight. We and we so positive. Yeah. We so lit that we don't even gotta pay rent if we don't want to. That's how cool we are around landlord. How yeah. many people you know that be like, yeah, move in my house. You ain't don't hit me up. You ain't gotta hit me up about the rent. Even though uh, don't get me wrong, we pay our we rent. We pay rent. Yeah. <laughs> but I'm just saying that's how cool our landlord is with us. That if we were to try to tell, you know, if we were to get in a situation, she yeah. wouldn't even care. Like, and for a whole year. We probably could live here free. That's how much she, our landlord fucks with us. And that's because and we're the positive and we're not grimy. We're not grimy at all. She knows that we're genuine people. Okay? So, live within your means. Do what you can do at that time. Save and progress. Stay consistent. No matter stay what busy. nobody says. No matter what nobody how says. How much pressure they put on you. Right. If somebody got... A picture of you living in a big house and they mind and they keep trying to push it off on you and you know personally you're not ready for it mentally physically yeah. financially don't do it no just be patient and that's pretty much all I got to say I have some water just be patient I don't rush nobody else I just I'm just going off of what people that I see people say it don't bother me at all. I just remember everything because I look at every comment. Half the time, I've been wanting to comment to everybody, but I don't want to spoil you all at one second. I've been commenting back as much as possible, but the negative comments, I've been skipping right over them. If they don't get deleted, because I've deleted. Don't get comfortable on our job talking, talking crazy for no reason. Because we lit! <laughs> we lit. We lit. We lit. And when we decide to move, then we're going to be on some. All right, guys. So the timer just went off. Now we're going to get the chicken and the baked beans out of the oven. Baby. Childish Gambino, you on that mic, Martin Stallone. I should be the time you must have been in my shoes. Make you feel like crazy, too. I was told I was beautiful. But what does that mean to you? You can see the mirror who is inside there. The one with the long hair. They won't be again today. My outside is not cool. My outside is blue. It 
every time I think I'm through, it's because of you. I try different ways, but it's all the same. At the end of the day, I have myself to blame. I'm just your fan. You can buy your hair if it won't grow. You can fix your nose if you say so. You can buy all the makeup the Mac can make, but if you can look inside you. Find out who am I to be in the position to make me feel so damn pretty. Yeah. I make you feel yeah. pretty too. Never insecure until I met you. Now I'm stupid. I used to be so cute to me. Just a little bit skinny. Why do I look through all these things? Keep you happy. Let me get rid of you and then I'll get back to me. Hey. I am sorry. I am sorry for blue. Every time I think I'm through, it's because of you. I try and find ways, but it's all the same. At the end of the day, I have my stuff to play. Can't believe it. Alright, y'all. So everything is done now. I can't wait. Let me see. This is the baked chicken, the broccoli, baked beans, macaroni, and your girl Grams right here grilling. I can't wait. I so can't wait. she can't even wait to get her full plate fixed. But if y'all want to do another cooking with Lily and Grams, whatever y'all want us to cook together, let us know. Get in my face. I'm so hungry. I'm so hungry. I'm so hungry. Anyways, comment down below. Let us know. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Thumb this video up. And we'll talk to you guys on another video. Deuces. You can buy your hair if it won't grow. You can fix your nose if you say so.